Hey, it's Bruce from the Pro's Closet. Let me ask you, is there one bike that can do everything? I've thought a lot about what the perfect quiver killer bike might be, and for me, that probably means an all-road bike. Not quite a road bike, but also not quite a full-on gravel bike, something in between. And I looked around, and this is what I ended up with. It is the 2020 Factor Vista, Factor's all-road road bike. So the Vista has a lot of what makes road bikes appealing. The frame is really lightweight, really efficient, so it works well for you know, fast road miles, but it can also fit big knobby tires. And it's actually comfortable and capable enough that some of the top US gravel racers, they used it at the 2019 Unbound Gravel Race. So my Vista here is a 54 centimeter. It is painted in hunter green, which I think looks amazing. The complete bike weighs 17 pounds, 14 ounces without pedals. It has a SRAM red axis wireless drivetrain and mechanical disc brakes, which I'll go into a little bit later. It has Vision carbon tubeless ready wheels on which I'm running 30 millimeter tires. The frame fits 30 to 35 millimeter tires, but I've experimented with 38 millimeter Gravel Kings. I think they fit fine. You might want to avoid some thick mud, but if you want to hit some gnarlier gravel, that's totally an option. The first thing you'll notice when you're looking at the Vista is the unique front end. It has what's called Otis. This stands for the One Total Integration System. Factor also uses this on their One Aero Road Race bike, but on the Vista, it's been tuned for off-road riding. What you get with the Otis is two things. You get really good steering accuracy, and you get really easy internal cable riding, which is great for lousy mechanics like myself. With the Otis system, you have these really thin fork legs. They can flex and absorb bumps and vibrations, but thanks to the external fairing and the dual clamp design, you maintain a lot of the stiffness you want for good steering accuracy. And then it's paired with this integrated handlebar and stem. You'll see that it's really flat and wide. This lets it flex up and down to absorb bumps, but then you still get the sort of lateral stiffness you want for good steering and sprinting. And then, the cables, you'll see it's really clean. There's no external cables. This is a wireless group. Even if you had a regular group, you wouldn't see any exposed cables or bolts. Everything routes through the handlebars really easily. And you have these two-piece spacers that make it really easy to adjust handlebar height. You don't have to mess with the cables. You don't even have to mess with headset preload because it all stays together thanks to the dual clamp design. At the back of the bike, we have these really thin seat stays. They join the seat tube really low down and have a little arch at the top. This also increases compliance on the back end, especially when it's paired with the flat back seat posts. The flat back lets the seat post flex backwards over bumps. And then the whole carbon layup of the rear end has been tuned for each size. That means bigger sizes that usually have bigger, heavier riders will have a different layup than smaller sizes. So no matter your size, you get the same balance of stiffness and comfort. So everything Factor has done to increase the compliance in this bike has really worked. I came off of a 2020 Cannondale Super 6, which is a pure road racing bike. So obviously this all road bike is gonna be a huge step up. I really noticed it's a lot more comfortable on things like railroad crossings, expansion joints, potholes, and washboard roads. And then if I compare it to my titanium gravel bike, if they're on the same tires, I actually think that this bike is as comfortable, if not more comfortable, which is really impressive because it honestly doesn't give up much in terms of speed compared to a pure road bike like the Super 6. The frame is super light. It's lighter than any gravel bike I've ever owned. And it just has that sort of road bike feel on the road. The geometry has been tuned specifically for these 30 to 35 millimeter tires. The fork offset is about five millimeters longer than Factor's road bikes. And then the bottom bracket drop is about five to seven millimeters lower. And so you get sort of a road bike-like geometry with these larger tires and you get that same sort of snappy feel, but you get the confidence of having a bigger tire and the comfort too. So regarding the build, there's not really much to say about the red axis drivetrain. It shifts effortlessly. I'm really an electronic drivetrain believer. The wheels, they're stiff, they're light, they set up tubeless really easy. The mechanical disc brakes are interesting. I have no problem with hydraulic disc brakes, but I know some people might. Um, this bike is built with the TRP High Road, sort of hybrid hydro mechanical disc brakes. They feel pretty good. They're 
about as powerful as a hydraulic disc brake. The only place I really notice the difference is in that initial pull when the pads contact the rotors. But otherwise, blindfolded, I, I probably wouldn't be able to tell. The one place I did have a small issue with the bike is the seat posts. And I've said this before, every single bike I've had that uses one of these hidden internal seat post wedges, it ends up creaking at some point. Um, I just had to pull out the seat posts, grease all the metal, the metal places, use a lot of carbon paste, and the creak went away. So, a little annoying at first, but not that big a deal. Now, is the Factor Vista the perfect bike for you? Well, for me, uh, leaving my house, I have to ride pavement, about 10 or 15 miles before I get to any gravel. But then also, on weekends, I like to do fast road rides with guys on actual road bikes. And then sometimes I like to sneak off and do gravel trails and little bits of single track. So I kind of want to do it all. And if I had to pick one bike that could do all that, the Factor Vista is my choice. And if that sounds like the type of riding that you do, then it might be the perfect bike for you too.